Good day to you from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's explore how electronegativity impacts charge stability. We have four acid-base reactions written on the screen. So these are acid-base reactions. We have water is acting as our, as our base. Perhaps not realistically so, but water serves as our base. Uh, the oxygen and water plucks off this proton off of one of our atoms and then breaks that, that bond to hydrogen and those electrons become a lone pair on whatever atom bore the hydrogen. So this, these are acid-base reactions. If you notice we have a series, we go from carbon to nitrogen to oxygen to fluorine. Let's just make this clear. Let's draw this for this one as well. So we can pluck off one of these hydrogens on the atom. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. We're looking at a horizontal trend on the periodic table. So we're moving straight across the periodic table. In this case, we're in the second period or the second row. Now, as it turns out, all these molecules that are written as our acids do not have the same acidity. Uh, this molecule, the first one, methane, the carbon, has a pKa of around 50, which is a super weak acid. Ammonia, NH3, has a pKa of about 35. Water is closer to 16 and then HF is about three. So we can see that as we go down this trend, as we go across the periodic table, we go from weak to strong. And we, that correlates with electronegativity because electronegativity is the horizontal periodic table trend. Now again, it's very hard to look at these molecules, these four acids, and say that they are, um, that they are particularly more acidic, what we can do though is we can look at the base form and we can look at these anions. So C minus, carbon is not very electronegative. It doesn't handle the negative charge well, so it is unstable. It's less stable. Less stable means it's more reactive. Uh, Things can react in different ways. How is this reactive? Well, more reactive, it's more reactive as, as a base. So this is more basic. Once this is more basic, we know the corresponding acid form is a weaker, in, it's weaker in reactivity. It's a weaker acid. We continue this thought, go all the way down to fluoride. Fluoride is the most electronegative. It is the most stable in terms of handling that negative charge. It's, if it's most stable, it's the least reactive. Least reactive how? It's, the, it's a base, it's the least basic. And that gives rise to the, the corresponding acid being the strongest acid. So to apply this rule for electronegativity, we need to be strictly moving across the periodic table. We can't go diagonally. We have to look at a, at, at a horizontal trend. But in this case, this is how the trend holds up. Increased electronegativity corresponds, corresponds to a greater stabilization of charge.